Hello, welcome to this grounding practice. Um, we are going to spend most of our time on the floor today just to stay connected to the earth, to um, give ourselves a chance to find a little bit of rest in the low body. But we are going to find a little bit of movement and then follow up with some meditation at the end. So, um, wherever you are, see so if you can find a comfortable place to sit on the floor where you have a little bit of space around you on all sides and to maybe have a little extra cushion for underneath your sitting bones, if that's comfortable for you, maybe a blanket or a couch pillow or a bed pillow or something. So as you find your place, feel yourself settling in to those sitting bones, feel your weight kind of settle downward. Feel the connection to the earth and sort of the earth sort of pulling you closer. Just allowing yourself to settle into that embrace, to be held, to be supported, to be given something upon which you can trust and rely. When you feel settled and grounded there, begin to focus your attention on your breathing. For the next few breaths, as you inhale, find a little bit more length in your spine, a little more lift in the rib cage as you breathe in. For the next few exhales, feel your shoulders soften down, feel your sitting bones and bones settle downward towards the earth. Feel the eyelids settle downward to close. Take one more breathing, big, full breath in, and maybe hold that breath for just a moment. Feel the fullness. Exhale, release it. The liberation and the release of that breath. Allow the eyes to softly open. I'm gonna bring legs. Um, into a position where we can stretch out a little bit. So kind of a V shape in the legs. They don't have to be super, super wide, um, but maybe a little wider than the hips or wider than that if it's comfortable for you. And again, kind of see if you can find that settling into the sitting bones. It might feel good if you have a blanket or a rolled towel to place a little support underneath the knees. If you have tighter hamstrings, that can feel really nice and helpful and supportive. And keeping tall through the spine, Take a nice big inhale to lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, just hinging with your flat back to come forward. Hands might touch the earth here. Again, as a grounding practice, feel free to let the knees pop up away from the earth a little bit, but feel the heels settle down. And over the next few breaths, as you inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. As you exhale, maybe your body invites you another centimeter forward towards the earth. Just kind of pausing, waiting for the invitation of your body, staying grounded through the palms and the heels and the sitting bones. Taking a few more breaths to sink down a little lower or to rise up a little bit more, but feeling that connection to the earth. Transitioning slowly. We'll start to walk the hands back towards the belly so that we can rise back up. We're just going to kind of scoop up underneath that right knee and bring the right foot in towards the body a little bit more. We're going to shift our heart towards the left toes. If we're still long and tall, we might engage a little bit more here, even if we have support under the knee. So lift and lengthen here. And again, just like we did in our forward fold, exhaling just a tiny bit forward, hinging, keeping that flat spine, continuing to lift and lengthen. As we inhale, continuing to settle a little lower as we exhale. We might relax that leg a little bit, maybe it pops a little way above the floor. Feel the connection points of palms, heel, and sitting bones. Into the earth. 
Feel where your body might be inviting you to open. Where the heart can bloom a little more. The inner thighs or the right leg. Just noticing where sensation travels as you ground yourself into the floor. Walking slowly back to hinging upright. Swapping legs, so bringing left in and right out. Centering the heart, feeling both sitting bones connected, engaging a little bit through that right leg. Inhale, lift and rebend, exhale, fold, keeping that process going. So you feel comfortable, challenge in shape. Enough challenge to feel an opening, enough comfort to remain steady in your breath, your posture. Let yourself rise again, slowly back up into your wide leg shape. I'm going to bring both feet in um, to try to ground through the ankles and shin bones a little bit. So we might stack the shins on top of one another like this. Um, if that's not accessible, a towel or a rolled blanket can be really nice underneath one of your knees um, or between the shin bones. And again, same kind of thing with this um, grounding downward through the hips. Inhaling to lift and lengthen the torso, exhaling to slowly come a little forward. And again, hands might reach down as we begin to open up some of the joints in the hips. And if this pose and the legs doesn't feel accessible, you can uh, modify through a cross legged shape or more of a sukhasana shape in the legs as well. The idea is to let those parts of you just sink down. And heart coming up and forward and supporting you as you come down. Maintaining the connection, the lower half of the body and the hands towards the earth. Maybe we feel that powerful force of gravity just drawing us closer. Starting to walk slowly back up. I'm going to bring the hands to the sides of the body and I'm kind of walking the hands away as if the fingertips were the only thing in contact with the floor as far as the arms and hands are concerned, but reaching as far away from the body as you can with your fingertips. You might start to feel some sensations of stretch and opening and forearms, the upper arms, the shoulders, or maybe even the fingers. Staying connected to the earth. As we inhale, sweeping arms up and overhead, making a nice big wide shape in the body. As you exhale, pull the hands down through the center of the body and then down and back out to their stretched out fingertips in contact with the floor shape. That downward pull of energy as your hands come back down, passing your third eye, your heart, your belly in contact with the earth. Two more breaths like that. Feeling expansiveness, space all around you. Exhale. Let 
downward flow of energy, breathing in this balance. And as your hands come to touch the earth again, find that static fingers that shape just reaching. I'm just going to dip left shoulder and right shoulder. So hands are stable, hips are stable. I'm just starting to open up some of the shoulder joints a little bit more in a different way. maintaining that connection down, calming, rooting. Since we have one leg on top, whichever leg is on top for you in this cross-legged shape, sweep that arm up and over. And exhale to open that side body, feel your lower hand connection, the knee bone with the connection. Even as you reach up and open into the space around you, feeling rooted. Inhaling, sweep up, bring your hands back down to that rooted space. Fingertips maybe sending roots down, feeling nourished, connected. I'm going to switch the position of our crossed leg. So whichever leg is on top, place that one on the bottom, bring your other leg on top. And whichever leg is on top, now sweep that arm up and over and lean. Pressing into the earth, the sitting bones, hand, and breathing into that open space. Feeling that balance of form and formlessness, solidness and space, balanced within. Back up and down. Find a little shoulder dip in each direction again. We'll uncross the legs and move so that the front of our bodies is now coming towards the floor. So shins can come down to the mat. Maybe we can sit comfortably on or near our heels. If not, we'll be finding four on the floor, knees wide, and opening up the back of the heart center and sending hips back toward the heels. Even if they don't touch, we can just kind of walk the hands forward. Maybe head could rest on the earth here again, finding a sense of grounding for the mind. Sense of grounding again for the hands, the shins. Feeling so much of our bodies close to the floor. And our sense is kind of going more inward, staying rooted in our higher self, looking within. Any sense of ease. Connecting to the breath. We're going to find a little bit of side body opening also in this shape. We'll do inhale next, just lifting your forehead a few inches off the floor. I'm walking both hands over to one side. And just finding that open space between shoulder and hip. And a couple of breaths. And 
walking back to center. You arrive at the center, take a full breath in and out before moving again. Walking to the other side. Noticing where there is a new space in the body and this new shape, and if we can send our breath and our attention and awareness into that wide openness. We trust in the solidness of the world. Again, back to center. And a breath or two here. Just allowing the hands to walk further forward. Hips might begin to lift up and away from the heels so that we can come to you resting on the belly. Settling the hips down into the earth, maybe toes stay tucked under, or maybe feet are flat on the floor. Just walking the elbows wide, and either turning one cheek down to the mat or floor, or maybe forehead can rest on the stacked hands. I'm just finding softness here, feeling the pressure of your breath against the floor. Each breath in, feel the space being made within you. With each breath out, feel your bones getting heavier, relaxing into that solid support of the floor. Remembering that each of us is connected by sharing the same planet. Maybe you can feel through your connection to the earth in this moment to your community, your family, your friends. The feet are not already wide, maybe widening the feet a little bit. Take a heart opener from this position of being close to the earth. So with your next breath in, feel a sense of joy and exuberance kind of flowing into your body. And as you do so, lifting the heart away from the floor, elbows might walk a little closer to center or underneath the shoulders a little bit more. We're going to lengthen the spine. Or Reaching the crown away from the sacrum. The shoulder blades can pull slightly back towards the spine to exaggerate that opening and heart center. It might feel good to bring the hands wide with palms turned down to connect to the earth. After we've lengthened the spine, it might also feel good to let the chin drop towards the chest as if the crown of the head or the forehead was reaching toward the floor. And for that sense of grounding or humility in the mind, just to begin to listen to what the body might have to teach us in this pose. Feel you know, which parts of your body are connected to the floor. How about supporting you? I may roll up to one ear toward the shoulder, back to center, and we roll into the other side. Just noticing within the stillness of each shape if there's a movement or flow of energy that you could open through a gentle adjustment or movement. Just be mindful of the compression of the low back as we open the heart center. Take a few more breaths, maybe make some adjustments to make the pose more sustainable while maintaining that grounding. But within our centeredness, there is room for movement, room for adjustment. Starting to walk the elbows back wide again, slowly letting the body come back down to the earth. Letting your body relax into the floor again, releasing all effort. See the hips kind of gently rock side to side to loosen any tension in the muscles of the lower back, particularly the muscles. 
Feel your heart kind of coming back close to the earth again. Head on the earth, belly on the earth. Start to bend at the right knee and bring the right hand out from underneath your forehead, palm on the earth, and just kind of roll onto the left side. Left hand can come to support the head. And right leg can eventually stack on the left. Knees can be bent or straighter. We can also bring the right knee to bend, sole the foot on the floor in front of or behind that left leg. This is often called a reclining Buddha pose. We have the whole body from the elbow all the way to the ankle and toes on the left side of the body connected to the earth. Right side of the body, hand and foot can be in front of or behind the body for support. Just feel that closeness to the earth. The stillness of your mind. Another breath in. We start to roll back to the belly. We can switch sides. Take a breath in the center. And letting yourself roll to the opposite side. And again, maybe the left handed foot are in front of or behind the body in some way to help you feel supported. Just feel that whole right side of your body in contact with the floor. Last breath here. We start to roll back toward the belly. Hands coming underneath each shoulder, pressing up into our tabletop shape, hands and knees. Let's take a few rounds of cat and cow. We're going to find a comfortable seat. Again, on the floor, so just kind of preparing any other movements that your body might need to come into a seated shape. If it's more comfortable or more rounding to bring your whole back body to the floor and take a lying down position, that's uh, also fine. We're just going to find enough stillness for a few minutes of meditation. So, having grown close to that. Strong foundation below us, finding a way to trust and not do the sitting bones or maybe the whole back body. Take a few rounds of breath in and out, just noticing that flow of aliveness in our bodies, even as we rest in stillness. down through the part of your body that's in contact with the floor, you know, the part of you that is in the space above you, maybe the front body or the upper body, expanding into that open space around you. As your breath flows, notice that the boundary of your body and the space around you is sort of soft. Observing part of you is in stillness. The physical part of you is still flowing with that aliveness, flowing with alert attention and awareness. Kind of imagine yourself in a safe outdoor space. 
staying rooted, relaxed. Just allow the feeling of a gentle breeze to brush past your skin, maybe float through the air. You can sense around you blades of grass or leaves or flowers just gently blowing in that breeze. From your stillness, from your groundedness, from your rootedness, feeling that movement all around you, being able to stay still, just experience it moving past you. Noticing the sensations arise and dissolve. Imagine that breeze. moving around you. The breeze of your breath moving through you. You stay connected to stillness. that stillness nature, observing nature, sense of groundedness, live breath to deepen again, receiving each breath in, allowing each breath to flow back out, feeling that small boundary of your body dissolve and soft, open to what is, rooted in who and what you are. Relaxed and confident in your truth. And from that pace of stillness, beginning to engage a little bit more, allowing that breath to deepen, flowing with the movements of life. Watching those movements from stillness within, beginning to engage a little bit more with that flow harmoniously. a few more breaths, rounding out our practice together. If you're seated, just bringing hands to heart center. If you're on your back, maybe beginning to find some movement. Thank you for joining us. Continue to keep our community strong by making time for rest, calming, centering for yourself, making time to connect with the greater community. This moment, just from that place of calm and stillness within you, send some love out into the world. Feel the connection to everyone, everything you love. Feel that love flowing back to you. Loka, Samasta, Sukino, Bhavantu. May all beings be happy, healthy, safe.